Hi guys, welcome back. Patrick here and I'm being joined this morning by Dr. Redpath. Our topic of the day, uh, quite personal for me as well, getting some wisdom teeth out today. Uh, so pretty great topic for what us to talk this morning. Uh, I'm going to the care clinic. Oh, good. Uh, Perfect. So, good. Yeah, so uh, just kind of happens to work out that we're talking about teeth this morning. So what better person to talk to you than you? Uh, yeah, so yeah, we're kind of talking about whether you should keep your teeth, whether you shouldn't. A lot of people, you know, you go through life and Sometimes it's not always perfect. So uh, what would you recommend? You know, are we trying to keep our teeth or what? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, that's the number one thing when I ask people, what is it that they want about their teeth? It's they just want to keep them for their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So um, being able to keep our teeth is going to ultimately help us eat our food, talk, smile, laugh, you know, just all of those things in life that really matter to us that we care about and teeth are a huge part of that and people don't necessarily realize that like when they're in the chair and they say need a root canal or something like that they may see the bill and they're like oh i can't but they have to focus on the bigger picture of like teeth are so important mm -hmm. to our happiness and to our the, just our life in general yeah so. i mean outside of the health aspect of itself i mean it really feeds into your mentality your yeah. account you know what you feel about yourself your self-esteem and everything like that so teeth can go a pretty long way and it's yeah. easy to look at it at the the front end of it and just look at that price tag like you said and yeah. you know realize you're keeping them for the rest of your life it's not hair they're not going to grow back <laughs> yeah, exactly that's a good point it's true or yeah. as you cut your hair you know you can grow that back but yeah you, know, you totally. only get that one tooth and then that. you eventually lose it all <laughs> <laughs> uh, now obviously the the money thing is uh I would imagine a little bit of a touchy topic at times. Yeah. Uh, what if people are in that tough boat and they're kind of unsure if they can afford it? What's what's the rem the remedy to that? Yeah, so I, I've had I've had patients where they're in a difficult financial position and they're just they just can't think of paying to have either root canal, crown, something like that, fix the tooth. And typically, I'll say it's not a good idea to make a long-term decision mm. about taking a tooth out because we can't get it back. It's not a good idea to make a long-term decision based on short-term financial mm. um, you know, problems. Yeah. So we'll typically have like a payment plan, something like that. Care credit's one of the ones we use. Okay. Also, we could just do treatment stepwise. So we could do one thing okay. and then like another month we do another thing and we just do it in a way that it's like a process each month and then you're able to pay whatever it is down and just make that decision for the long term yes. because that's ultimately you know if we want to live till 80 something like that <laughs> yeah we don't want to have dentures or something to replace like dentures are not teeth they're plastic pieces that just are not enjoyable and more and more people are keeping their teeth and they're saying, I don't want to have dentures like yes. my parents had dentures or my grandparents, like I saw what they went through. Exactly. And so we don't want people to go through that anymore. It's just not necessary. We can do things to protect the teeth, save the tooth, put you on a payment plan and make that long-term decision about your teeth. Yeah, and even that like short-term versus long-time thing, I, it's almost kind of like emotional uh, decision yeah. as well versus a, uh, con like a, a consenting like thoughtful logistic yeah. conscious decision where you're yeah. like oh well, i'm afraid of the money or i'm afraid that i can't pay for it i'm afraid but if you're really looking down uh the long term of all of this you know making the logistical decision to yeah. say hey and we're talking a about healthier decision for the ten, rest of my life exactly it's like this one investment is 10 20 exactly. years you know of an investment in that one that one team. I mean, thing. I think that's an important word specifically to use, investment. You're investing in yourself. Uh, you're really putting something for the long term. A lot of people, uh, you know, yeah, spending term, versus yeah. investing, you're, you know, this is something that goes into your health and something that will benefit you in the long term. Yeah, yeah uh, definitely. Now, obviously, this isn't always the route to go. It's not always possible to save that tooth. So where do you draw that line? Like, where do you decide like, hey, maybe we should go that route? Yeah, totally. If if the tooth is unsalvageable and say there's a cavity down to the bone and the root is, you know, something's broken or there's a crack or something like that, I'll typically look at things and I'll say, okay, 
where is this tooth gonna be five years from now? Okay. Is it still gonna be in your mouth or are we gonna be taking it out because it breaks or something okay. like that? If that's the case, and I don't think it's gonna last longer than five years, I'll typically say, you know what? Let's take your money, put it somewhere better, yes. get this tooth out and we can replace it with an implant. And we do implants to replace teeth and you know they're a great option, but if we could keep the natural tooth as long as possible, then once it's you know no longer feasible, get it out, replace it with an implant, something like that, then that's the best way to go. Well, awesome. Uh, super good information, uh, really good insight. Uh, obviously for me personally and everyone that's watching, you don't know who, everyone has teeth, so. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah, uh, so uh, someone needs your services, how they're gonna get in touch with you? Is it a better website, better just to call? How do, how do we do that? Yeah, call is the best. The website's also easy. You can schedule online an appointment. We have like a little scheduling tool and uh, we're right by the City Market gas station in Dillon. Come on in, we'll take great care of you. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for sharing a little bit of insight with all of us. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. We're going to head over to Craniology right now and see a little bit about what they have going on in their bike department.